I sometimes talk to people and they say, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm having these recurring thoughts or these this recurring sadness. And I strongly, strongly believe that unless the individual does a deep dive both into themselves and into spiritual transformation, which has to do with studying, gaining more wisdom, then they might be able to traverse this moment of sadness and maybe the next one and maybe the next one. At a certain point in, our, in a person's lives, it will become almost impossible. Because we are in this world to evolve, and to evolve in many ways, and also to evolve spiritually. And I think most of us don't take that work seriously enough. And it is sometimes the crisis of life, or even these great or lesser moments of sadness, that we should take as the wake-up call to say, okay, this might be the physical reason I'm experiencing sadness right now. I didn't get the job that I wanted, for example. But on a deeper level, it's also meant as a wake-up call. It's interesting, as you're speaking, I'm thinking about this analogy. Um, I think those moments where we feel sad, or we're not, we're no longer fulfilled by what used to fulfill us, which can create sadness, I think, also. I think it's our inability to accept change and really want to understand that this, and that's the importance we're talking about. There, This is like a little life quake. It's an indication to say, it's not that everything's horrible. The fact that you are feeling unsettled or you're not feeling joyful from what used to bring you joy is an indication that you need to be kind of a detective for yourself about your life of what else can lead you to fulfillment. And it reminds me, you know, since I had before my injury, right, with my foot, I would I would work out through any pain, any discomfort. Okay, you know, pain, no pain, no gain, push through. And I think you can do that to a certain extent until your body's like, hey, buddy, I'm tired of all of this, not abuse, but like the wear and the tear of it. And now it's interesting, whenever I feel anything, anything, like, and maybe that's not a good thing too, because you want to be careful with that. But let's say when I'm exercising or I feel like, oh, I moved my foot that way, does it mean something? Again, we don't want to take it too far, and I am guilty of that sometimes, but I think you want to treat every aspect of your psyche in that way, body, mind, and spirit, that when you feel a shift emotionally or mentally or physically, pause and say, okay, is there something I'm supposed to be doing differently or understand something from this? Because everything, right? How else will you know how to navigate 